Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Vax here bringing you some more Call of Duty Ghost gameplay and this game is about a couple things. Well, the gameplay is about me choking on a chem. Uh, to start with chem strikes, I haven't gotten one yet, not even out of a Carrick package, believe it or not. I tend to get a lot of uh, dogs and satcoms. And this isn't the closest I've come to a chem. I go 15-0 before getting killed, but the reason I wanted to use this gameplay over like a closer one is because this is the, probably the best example of how to really choke getting a chem. And what happens is, is I'm, as you can see, I'm here and I'm playing against some awful, awful people. And I'm doing great. I'm taking my time, pacing myself, because I'm not really trying to get a chem either. I'm just kind of playing. And I'm not playing the objective very well, which didn't bug me because my team pretty much had it under wraps. So I'm just kind of sitting around killing people. And... When the team gets in trouble, I tend to play the objective uh, a lot harder. Now, I know why I choke on chem so much. And I mean, I have come close. I've been 21 kills in and choked a few times. And the same thing happens every single time. And for some reason, I can't seem to fix it. And it's just myself and just me being silly. Because as you can see here, I'm having no issues playing the game and no issues whatsoever. But what happens is, as I get up there, and I realize, usually once I get my specialist uh, bonus, that, you know, I could be getting one this game and whatnot, I get impatient. And when I get impatient, I get dumb. I push when I shouldn't, I take unnecessary risks, and then I get myself killed. And this is a really, really good example of it, because at the end of this gameplay here, you will see me die, and that was a fight that I should not have tried to win. Um... Because I come around the corner right in front of the castle gates there. I see her. She gets a couple shots on me. And I duck behind. And before letting myself heal or flanking around to the other side, which is what I would normally do, I decide to re-engage her and she gets uh, she, some shots on me. I mean, I could have won the fight had my aim been a little bit better. but Or if I had fired a little bit sooner because I don't think I even pre-fired on it either. And... Yeah, you know, that's what I get. So it's a really good example of what not to do if you want to get a chem strike. And, I mean, the big thing is is just keeping your pace the whole time. Um, I, but I, I don't, and that's what gets, you know, I just get that, get antsy, and I don't want to sit, sit around and wait in the area I'm patrolling. Because that's typically how I do well, is I'll patrol an area like I'm doing right here. Nice wide open area. I have access to all three areas, people coming from each direction, regardless of what flags are being held. And my favorite way for this is actually have my team hold A and C and have the enemy have B because they all want to rush to C all the time. And it's a really easy way to get a lot of kills just by uh, sitting around this area. But I've covered that in a different video. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. If you do, make sure to leave a like and uh, don't forget to hit subscribe. Uh, but today, actually, I also wanted to give you guys an update on my wife. I made a video uh, two weeks ago or something like that um, about my wife. She went to make me some homemade Sloppy Joes because I had never had Sloppy Joes before and she actually damn near amputated her thumb in the process. Uh, well, she's been in recovery. She's been in split. Uh, obviously, lots of stitches. I forget the exact number, but it was like close to like 18 on her thumb. She did a number. The video's up there if you want. It's Sloppy Joes and Thumb Fillets, I think I called it. And uh, she has the stitches out now and everything. She still has to wear the splint. Um, I think she has to wear that for like four months or something. But she's actually going to be out of work for six months because of the tendon damage. And uh, a couple of people that I've told this to that I know, they're like, that's a bit extreme, isn't it? I'm like, well, she severed the tendon in her thumb 80% of the way through, and she's a tattoo artist. And those guns give off a lot of vibration and do put a lot of strain on the hand because, you know, you're tattooing for hours at a time with that constant vibration. So we kind of have to play it safe. So, I mean, that just sucks a lot um, for a lot of reasons. One, obviously, uh, you know, she's not working, so that's a huge income loss for us. But also, too, just the fact that, I mean, you know, I can't get tattoos and getting tattooed by her is hard enough for me as it is. Um, having a tattooist wife is kind of like having a uh, mechanic in the family. You know, the mechanic always has the worst car. I have, like, the least uh, tattooed uh, body around, it seems. Uh, I do have several, but I think only one and a half that my wife's done. Yeah, because I've got a Decepticon on my back, uh, back of my calf that's nowhere near finished yet. And that was one of her first pieces, too, And as I hit my mic. Anyways, guys, here we come up to the... Uh, the death here 
And I, I know the gameplay is a little bit slow at parts, but I was just really kind of trying to pace myself, take my time, like I said, and not rush or anything, because I just wanted to get the cam at that point, and then I get this kill. I'm going to come around the other side, and just like I said, engage poorly. And there she is. You can see I even have overkill on there. And I missed my last few bullets. Okay, no, I didn't. I wasn't damaged. Oh, well. Anyways, if you enjoyed the guy video, guys, make sure to leave a like, and uh, we will see you tomorrow, probably with some more Minecraft. Talk to you soon.